right, guys, so this section is exponent properties. If you look at the introduction, whenever you start a section, you can see the standard. So this standard, this is actually a review of eighth grade. This is not a 10th grade standard, but we're going to review it. Um, you're going to learn exponent properties of these certain rules. Okay, so if you go to the next page, you'll have, we're doing the general instruction video right now, so it's not there, but you'll have your notes and then all the videos regarding the practice problems and the completed notes. So right now, if you jump to these blank notes, a blank copy is located in the filing cabinet and they look like this. So we're going to review just the general instruction part and then each problem has its own video. So here we are. We're just going to review exponents. So an exponent, we say power. When we talk about exponents, there's a base and an exponent. So this base 5 to the power of 2. So 5 to the power of 2 really means 5 times 5. You multiply the base 5 by itself as many times as the exponent tells you to. So 5 times 5 is 25. And then there's all these rules to combine exponents quickly. So if I have two numbers with the same base, so here our base is 5, or not 5, the exponent's 5. The base is a. So a to the power of 2, a to the power of 3, we would combine those by adding 2 plus 3, and that's where the 5 comes from. So that's called the product rule. The product is when you multiply. The quotient is when you divide. So if I divide two exponents, same base, you subtract. So sometimes we would see this as a fraction. So if I have seven a's divided by three a's, my answer would I would take the numerator minus the denominator and I would have four left over. That's the quotient rule. The other one is the power rule. It's when we have something to a power and then another power. Sometimes we call it the power to the power. So here I have a to the seventh power to the power of two. So we would multiply those seven times two and that's where this 14 comes from. The next one, just a general one, you need to remember the zero rule. Anything to the power of zero is always one. Okay, so if I have 100 to the power of zero, it's one. If I have five to the power of zero, it's one. Anything to the power of zero is one. Our next one is the negative rule. And if we have anything with a negative exponent, we move that from the numerator or denominator and change the sign from negative to positive. Okay, so here I would make this a fraction. So let's do, actually let's do this example, a to the negative four. I would make it a fraction by putting it over one. You can do that with any number. And then we say cross the line, change the sign. Cross the line, change the sign. So I would bring the a to the fourth power to the denominator as a positive four. So we're changing the sign of the exponent. And then when there's nothing left on the numerator denominator, you have a one. And that's how we get that. So now you'll have 13 problems where you're going to have to use those powers with different numbers.